Good afternoon, church family. Welcome to this Wednesday edition of Staying Connected. I'm Jeremy Cole, the youth pastor here at St. Mary's United Methodist Church. As always, it is a joy and honor to greet you with God's word and prayer. Today we're going to start a, a new series. We're going to look at the, uh, the first letter um, of John's epistle, 1 John, and uh, look at all the different times where, where he talked about love in that epistle. Uh, I, th I think it's kind of uh, neat and uh, noteworthy that John was called the, the disciple Jesus loved. And uh, it's pretty neat that, that the disciple that Jesus loved wrote an entire epistle talking a whole lot about love. And uh, so today we're, we're going to start that. Uh, we're going to start here in uh, first, first John. There we go. First uh, John chapter 2, verses 3 through 6. It says, We know that we have come to know him if we obey his commands. The man who says, I know him, but does not do what he commands is a liar. And the truth is not in him. But if anyone who obeys his word, God's love is truly made complete in him. This is how we know we are in him. Whoever claims to live in him must walk as Jesus did. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. So, what John's saying here is, uh, is that the more that we know God, the more that we uh, get to know his word, the more that we live out his word, the more that, that we uh, truly uh, live our lives following those, those two greatest commands that Jesus gave us, uh, he said that everything in the law and prophets hung on these two commandments. And he said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. So the more that we live completely to what this word says, then the more our lives will look full of love. And uh, the more we will be striving towards perfect love, towards being perfected in love, which um, truly doesn't come completely until we're, we're at home in heaven, um, where, where there's no more of the opposite of love in anyone's life. So how, how do you get to know the Word of God more? How do you get to do that more? I think it, it starts with um, prayerfully studying the Scripture, uh, getting to know it more and more, uh, spending some time just intentionally uh, learning about the the different scriptures, um, applying it to your life, and then letting that letting your life be different because of it. Um, kind of got me thinking about you know how often do do we lose touch with somebody? Um, maybe we lose touch with a friend or a family member. Um, maybe it's been weeks, months, maybe years that that you uh, haven't spoken to them or. Um, sent them a message or sent them an email or um, or even just really seeing what they're doing on social media and uh if if you were to to talk to them you might not know them as, as well as you used to uh, i saw a funny meme last week that said uh um, if you knew me in my 20s um you didn't you don't really know me because that was season one and it was uh very underfunded and uh, the writers were going through a lot of things at that time. So um, if you haven't talked to somebody in a while, if you haven't checked in with them in a while, you probably don't know them very well. And I think the same is true with this word. If, the, if you haven't spent time in prayer in a while, intentional prayer, um, truly just um, spending time speaking to God and spending time listening to God in your quiet time, quiet reflection, being still, and if you haven't spent intentional time studying the Word of God um, daily, uh, as daily as you possibly can, I know we're all busy in our lives, the, if you haven't done that in a while, then it's hard to know what God has planned for your life. It's hard to know what He's laying before you. It's hard to, to, to live out His plan for perfect love for your life if y'all just haven't had conversations in a long time. So what John is saying here is, uh, is the more that you know God, the more that you are seeking after God, the more that you are uh, spending time with him, doing what the word says, letting it change your life, 
then the more your life will look Christ-like, the more you'll be living after the example of Christ. So let's do more of that. Let's, uh, let's pray more intentionally. Let's seek after the, the Word of God more. Let's spend more time in Scripture and uh, just watch what it'll do for our lives. Let's pray. God, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your son Jesus, who has just given us the example of, of a life fully transformed. We pray that that each and every day, Lord, that we will make the, uh, the daily choice to surrender to you, to um, seek after you in prayer, to seek after your word and let it live out in our lives. Let it transform us. Let us make us brand new every day. And uh, Lord, that we ask that others will see that and that we will be able to share that with others, that we will be able to plant seeds of your, your word and your love in other people's hearts that truly need a Savior. It is in your Son's name we pray.